Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I want to speak to you about the power of our words in regards to others and creation. So I've noticed that there's so sort of two ways of speaking, I suppose, in the world, two conversations that tend to be had amongst people. There's most likely a lot more, but today I'm just focusing on two of them anyway. <laughs> so one of them is gossip. Um, you know, the latest news, the sort of, you know, who's been doing what and saying what, who's not doing what they should be doing and etc, etc. And the other conversation that people tend to have is a creative conversation. It's about ideas and exploring new possibilities and challenging the norm and thinking about um, developing and expanding themselves. And they both have a very different energy. The gossip tends to be aimed at pulling people down and making oneself feel better and bigger by the demise of somebody else. And the other has nothing to do with anyone else. It has to do with growing yourself. And it's a very different energy and I can feel even as I'm talking about the two different ways of speaking that I have different energy when I speak about them myself. The one is to me anyway is exciting, it's expansive, it's exploring possibilities and the other is a survival mechanism. It's to make oneself feel bigger and better by pulling someone else down and making other people less than. So it's making others wrong and making yourself right. And when we do that, we're admitting that we are fallible, which is not a bad thing, but not necessarily in this term, that we are scarcity minds, have a scarcity mindset, that we um, are living in a fear-based world where other people need to be pulled down to make us feel bigger and better about ourselves. The other way, when we're talking about ideas and things that we want to create and how we want to grow and possibilities in the world, is an abundance mindset. It's thinking about possibilities, um, expanded growth, that there are no limitations. And I'm sharing this as well because, and whilst I suppose this is quite sort of, you can see this very clearly in the outside world when you're talking about with friends and family and things like that, but you can also see it in a workplace and it gives a whole feel to a workplace. Is a workplace where people comment on colleagues when they're not there, or pull them down or make fun of them or make them less than themselves? Or is the workplace a place for expanded ideas of thinking of possibilities and solutions and how to grow and new things to be doing? Um, and you can feel there's a very different energy. And don't ever be fooled that if somebody is gossiping to you about someone else, they're not going to be gossiping about you to someone else as well. So don't feel that you're part of that elect, sort of elite group if you're part of the people that are doing the gossiping, because as soon as you're not there, they're going to be saying similar things about you to someone else. It breeds um, mistrust, it breeds insecurity, it breeds defensiveness and separateness and hurt and resentment. Whereas the other way, when you're talking about ideas and possibilities and things like that, there's an inclusion um, because all ideas are valuable. There's an expansion and excitement, a togetherness that is so much truer and more real than the other. I hope this has given you a little something to think about. And that's not to say that I don't ever gossip. I do catch myself doing that from time to time. <laughs> but it is something that I'm aware of that is not exactly a growth mindset, that it's harmful, not just to the people I'm talking about, but also to myself as a person. I don't feel good if I'm gossiping about somebody else. Um, I feel slightly dirty and slightly two-faced. Um, and not a nice person. So to me, there's a lot more behind gossip than just the simple passing on of information. It's destructive um, within the workplace, within friendship groups, um, and anywhere you find it. Um, I hope this has given you some food for thought this week. If you've enjoyed this, please, I would appreciate your likes and sharings. Um, if you'd like to make sure you don't miss out on any of these episodes, then please subscribe. Um, if you want to find out more about my coaching or my online courses, then there's links to that in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.